welcome to the Knights of Heaven. I have a word I want to share with you. It's a dream that uh, really speaks about where we are as a church and how we can grow in, in walking in victory. And uh, bear with me as I share this dream. It's very symbolic, and so I'm going to get into the interpretation. Uh, in this dream, I... I was watching like a, a news channel or some kind of documentary about electricians and it was saying that electricians are losing money because they are buying everything with checks and it was almost like they were going in and, and going to many different places to get parts for their businesses and they were using checks in this in this dream and and they and this documentary said electricians are pretty much all uh, losing money and they don't even know about it right and so and, and I knew in the dream that if they found one source of supply that that would save them money right what they wanted to find one source rather than going to many different places and so that was the dream and, I, and when I woke up and, and he, I'll get into a little bit about interpreting dreams as well in this video because you know, God gives us dreams to speak to us. And, and one of the reasons I knew this was a dream from God it was because it was so weird. <laughs> you know, I had no, I, I mean, I don't know anything about electricians or th this dream meant absolutely nothing to me personally. So I knew that it was a message from God. And so secondly, uh, dreams oftentimes need to be interpreted. And so uh, the Bible says interpretation is from the Lord. And so if you get a dream like this that needs to be interpreted, the first thing you want to do is go to God and ask Him what it means before you pick up any dream interpretation books or anything like that or start to think about what you think it means. Ask God. Interpretation is from the Lord. And so I asked God and, and He began to show me some things. And so, number one, I thought the, the electricians were pe are people that deal with power, right? And so this has to do with the church looking for answers to their questions, looking for power. And, and it's like they were looking in the wrong places. They were, uh, they were really doing things, do, going to many different places, looking for answers and not finding them, not, n never having enough. And so as I prayed about it more, uh, I felt like there was something about this having one source was really important. And that source is God. And we'll get into that We'll get into, into some scriptures in a minute here. But uh, these electricians in the dream were, were going around uh, and, and they didn't even realize that they were losing money. And a lot of Christians don't even realize that they are running on empty, so to speak, right? And we'll talk about how we can get oil in our lamps. Well, electricians are the modern day people. They give us light, right? And, and the church needs light. They said, Jesus said, you are a city on a hill. You cannot be hidden. Do not put your light under a basket, right? So we are called to shine the light, but our light is dim because we don't realize where the power comes from. Okay, so let's look at this scripture, Isaiah 28, verse 20. It says, for the bed is too short to stretch out on and the covering too narrow that he cannot wrap himself in. Okay, so... What is this a picture of? It's a picture of us trying to, uh, trying to sleep or rest in our own strength. That we, we've made this blanket, but it's too small. It doesn't cover us. We've made this bed, but it's too small. And we can't sleep on it. And so it's a picture of us trying to do the work of God in our own strength. And it's never gonna work. It's never gonna be enough. And so what are some things that we go to for strength that are never enough? And, and some of the negative ones are, are entertainment. You know, people go to, uh, to, uh, to movies or games. People go to sometimes even more negative things like pornography or, or the attention of other people. And, but there's also some positive things. Sometimes we go to the pastor. Sometimes we go to books or seminars or conferences thinking that we're going to get life out of them. And those are all good things. But life only comes from one place, and that is spending time with God in the secret place of prayer. Spending time with God. We need to receive our strength and our power from God. Okay, let me share with you a parable that Jesus talked about. It's the parable of the ten virgins. 
It's found in Matthew 25, starting in verse 1. And I'm just going to summarize the parable. Jesus basically said there was 10 virgins, and five of them had oil in their lamps, right? And five of them did not. And it came time for, for the bridegroom to come, and it was midnight, right? It was at an unexpected hour. Suddenly there was a trumpet sound. Hey, the bridegroom is coming. And five of these virgins that didn't have oil in their lamp suddenly got up and thought, we need to get oil in our lamp so that we can go outside and meet the bridegroom. Uh, but they didn't have any oil, so they're looking for it, right? And at midnight, of course, all the stores are closed. Where are you going to get oil? They're asking the other virgins, can we have some of your oil? And they said, no, we can't give you oil. We only have enough for ourselves. And there's a key right there. That oil, we cannot give each other oil, okay? Here's the parable, the oil. And what is the oil? The oil is the source of light. It's the source of power, okay? So you can't get oil from other people. And so oftentimes we try. We try to get oil from the pastor, from, from a conference, from a book. But oil only comes from spending time in God's presence. And this is so important that we get oil from God's presence. So oftentimes we're looking for it from another person. And God's saying, come to me, spend time with me in my presence, and you will have oil in your lamp. And then you will begin to shine. And it's so important. More than ever, we need Christians to be shining their light in this dark world. Uh, but so many people don't even know that they are deficient in oil because they're looking in all the wrong places. Now I'm going to pray for you uh, that God would begin to lead you in how to shine your light and how to get oil in your lamp. It's so important. A lot of people are going to find that, oh man, God's beginning to move in the earth and they're not ready for it. Okay, so one more scripture, Galatians 5.16. It says, I say then, walk in the Spirit, and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are led of the Spirit, you are not under the law. And the law is those works of men where we're trying to do the things of God in our own power. It's that blanket that won't cover you. But if you are led by the Spirit, okay, you will not gratify the deeds of the flesh. You want to learn how to overcome the things of the world and walk in God? You want to learn how to walk in your destiny and purpose that God has given you? Learn to walk in the Spirit. It's just so key. And it starts in that secret place. It starts with knowing God, knowing His voice, knowing His presence, spending time with Him every day. It's so important. And some of you have a great destiny to shine the light of Christ, to change the world around you, to change people, to lead them to Christ. Uh, and the only way we can do that is when we get our source uh, from the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I want to pray for you. So God, we just pray, I pray for everybody watching this today. God, I pray that you would lead them and guide them in how to have oil in their lamps, how to spend time with you, how to have an effective, quiet time, how to develop a relationship with you, the living God. God, I pray that you break off any, uh, any uh, ties with earthly things, trying to get life out of dead things. God, trying to get attention from people that does not satisfy. All these things, I pray that you break them off. I pray that you break off any ties, any strongholds, any, any addictions right now in Jesus' name. And we pray that you raise up bright and shining lamps in your church today, Father God. Amen. Hey guys, uh, one last thought. Uh, because we're talking about having a relationship with God and how important that is. We need people too. And we need one another. I'm not saying don't go to church. You know, church is really important because that's where you begin to take these things that God has shown you and give them to others. And they give to you. And we give to one another. And that's how we are built up. But it starts, that 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 encouragement that you give to others starts in that secret place of prayer. So I want to encourage you, be praying this week. And uh, that way when you go to church, when you go to school, when you go to work, wherever you go, you're going to have something to give to other people. And that's what it's all about. So, hey, bless you guys.